Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. We have a yam and an eggplant, so you already know it's party time. If you immediately notice that I sound a little different, that would be because this is the first video that I'm recording from my college dorm. So I had to completely change my whole computer setup. I couldn't bring my nice big old boom arm microphone and all my nice audio interface stuff. So instead I'm just rocking a USB mic and I'll try to make it sound good in post, we'll see. Sorry for the dip in quality, I just didn't want to torture my roommate by bringing a boom arm into our tiny, tiny dorm room. So anyway, it's been a really long time since I played on this file, so naturally, um, I have no idea what I'm doing, which at this point is just kind of expected from this series, but still. I am gonna remember to water these though, don't worry. All right, so we're looking to snag some more bee houses, if, if I am correct. Cows! Hello. Those pumpkins down there are, are inching closer and closer to being done. Okay, so we have some cows. That's good. We have a little bit of maple syrup. We can make one more bee house. Two more bee houses. We still have neglected to make some more mayonnaise machines, which we should probably do because we don't we don't have enough right now. Not gonna do it today. <laughs> gonna keep that streak alive because I'm too lazy. Ooh, we have more ancient fruit. Okay, okay. I don't really know what to do with it because we don't have a greenhouse yet. So I can't put it in there, and I can't plant more yet because they would die immediately because they die in winter. So I guess it's smartest to just hold on to them. Oh yeah, okay, I held on to that one. So yeah, let's do that. I've already donated an eggplant, so just the yam is saved. Nothing else is the- oh, maple syrup is a community center item. There we go. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, okay. I forgot to mayonnaise -ify these boys. Okay. What is the best course of action? What do we most need to work on on this farm? Obviously, I'd love some cash. Definitely love some cash. What floor are we on in the mines? I've completely lost track of that. Maybe let's go check that out. Yeah, we're low on iron. Maybe let's get some iron. Let's get some iron. I think that's a good call. Okay, so last time we finished the fish tank and the boiler room. So now we can use the mine carts, finally. Usually I get the boiler room in like spring, but that one iridium ore took forever. That was not fun. But what matters is that we have it now. An optimistic attitude can do wonders for the- I already finished the mines. God damn it. So what do I do? <laughs> what is- what is there to do? I'll throw down this bee house. I guess that's something to do. Ooh, this batch of maple syrups right here. I need these- I need- I need these to hustle because that's gonna be a big moment for me. Oh, we weren't even going to the mines to make progress. We we're just gonna want to get iron. Okay. I pro- okay, I- I promise I'm okay, mentally. So, pretty close to my dorm, uh, on my campus, there's a Wawa that, uh, me and some friends have walked to a few times. And we went there last night for some snacks, and I was right about to check out. And I noticed, like, okay, so everyone knows that Oreo has an unnecessary amount of flavors, right? There are so many. There are so many different kinds of Oreo. I don't care. I just want the normal ones, maybe the lemon ones. That's really it. So I was very aware of the double stuff kind of Oreo, and yeah, I like double stuff. I like the cream, it's good. But I found this pack that I've never seen, but this is the wrong floor, you moron, that I've never seen before called Most Stuffed. So they made double stuff, which is already like, it's good, but it's pretty much a sin. Like it's so, it's so bad for you. And then they were like, okay, so we have this abomination that is double stuff Oreos. Let's take it a step further. I, I didn't want them, but like when you walk by something like that, like a pack of most stuffed Oreos, you have to buy it, right? Like there's no alternative. So I bought the Oreos and I went back to my room and I was like, oh, let's get, let's give it a shot. They are the exact same size as Double Stuff. Literally the same size. I didn't have Double Stuff for comparison, but I've eaten enough Oreos to know that they were definitely the exact same size as Double Stuff Oreos. Like, if, you're, if your product is a dumb concept, commit to it, right? Like, they didn't even commit to it. It was, like, a bad idea that they didn't even do. It's like how, you know how, like, a really, really terrible movie can be just as fun as, like, a really, really good movie? Like, my friends and I had more fun watching Boss Baby as a joke than we did watching Brave. Because Boss Baby is a worse movie, but it's it's bad in a funny way. Brave just bored me out of my mind. Sorry if you like Brave. I just, I hate that movie so much. I think it's so boring. But that's how I feel about the double stuff Oreo. Like, either I want it to just be a normal Oreo, or I want it to be so much cream that it's ridiculous. And instead it was just like, too much, but like a, still a lame amount. Like, come on dog, commit to it please. I also got one of those Spongebob Pops. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's like the... 
It's like a popsicle kind of, but it's not even the consistency of a popsicle. God knows what it is. Uh, it's just, it's supposed to be a little popsicle, Spongebob's face. That was always my go-to, uh, at the ice cream truck when I was younger. They had the Spider-Man one, but I don't know what it was about the Spongebob one, but it just hit different. And I got one of those. Um, and I've always been more of a defender of when people say like, Oh, it looks so stupid. It looks nothing like Spongebob. Like, I'm not buying this popsicle because I'm like, Oh, this is gonna look just like my, my childhood hero Spongebob Square. No, I just want to eat ice cream and also look at Spongebob. I guess that is a factor. I do, I do like, I do like the square yellow man. But like, I've never understood when people are like, Oh, those are bad because, uh, it doesn't look like Spongebob. Well, shut up, dog. How many friends do you have? Oh, none? Oh no, what a shame. Okay, that was aggressive. I didn't mean to- <laughs> didn't mean to get mean there. But so I opened it up, and uh, sure enough, its eyes were like three millimeters apart, and halfway down its face, so it's like, okay, yes, it doesn't look like Spongebob. But that's the best part of getting a Spongebob pop, is opening it up and seeing this ungodly <laughs> creation. It's good. It's fun. It's family fun. Everyone loves it. Everybody. No exception. Not one. If you're watching this video and don't love Spongebob Pops, like, I, I appreciate that you like my content, but you need to seriously reevaluate some stuff. Yo! Oh my god, Prismatic Shard? I can get a Galaxy Sword? Oh my god, I didn't even know those things could drop Prismatic Shards. That's so hype. Okay, well, we know what we're doing tomorrow, for sure. That's sick. Overall, a really good day in the mines, both for resources and because we got a friggin... Prismatic shard from that little dust mite guy. Now that we have a galaxy sword, we can probably go to Skull Cavern. Maybe we do that today. That would be exciting. Something that's been kind of absent on this channel has been uh, collabs. Uh, and excitingly, I'm actually working on like two right now. So those should be a thing within the next month. And I'm very excited about them. I think they're super funny. Working with some cool folks. Stardew Valley community is so nice. Everyone is so kind. Except, I'd always said like, wow, this is the only video game community I've ever seen that doesn't, like, suck. Well, I mean, most of them don't suck. Like, every video game community has some suckage. It's just, it's like, how much suckage, it's a ratio. And you can find it with most games. Like, Minecraft, I don't even need to go into that. Even Terraria, for the longest time, I was like, oh, their community can't be that bad. And then, like, in, in the subreddit, some people are, like, so mean. Like, a, a kid will make a post about like, oh, I just beat this boss for the first time. And then sure enough, the top comment with like 8,000 upvotes is some 12 year old kid being like, have you ever played expert mode? And then the guy's like, no. And he's like, then you've never played the game before. How about you try an actual challenge? It's not even hard. I can't believe people struggle. Like shut, shut up dog, no one cares. But for the longest time, I couldn't find that kind of person in like the Stardew Valley community. And I was like, wow, I guess it's just a really nice community. And that's what I thought until Unsurpassable Z, the guy who's organizing this Stardew Valley Cup event, uh, made a tweet announcing like, oh, check it out. And I expected all the replies to be like, oh, this looks awesome or this looks fun. Nope. Bunch of people immediately reacted negatively saying like, oh, so you're turning Stardew Valley into an eSport? I hate you and I hate Stardew Valley now because like you're trying to make it like you're, you're welcoming it into the, like, toxic competitive gaming community. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it, dog. It's fine. Most people are actually pretty excited because it's going to be fun. Okay, I'm really, really pushing it right now. It's almost 1 a.m., but I, I, there's so much iron. <laughs> but my least favorite kind of reply I'm seeing is, like, these butthurt Reddit people who I guess are just salty that they don't get to play Stardew Valley for cash prizes are saying like, oh, how come I wasn't invited to the, like, how come it's only con, like, how come it's only streamers? They're already rich. And it's like, okay, that is such a strong claim to make. It's just frustrating as a poor college student to have someone, to, to be so excited about an event and then have someone be like, oh, they don't deserve the money because they're probably already rich from streaming. I make like, maybe $30 a day, which is already like, I am absolutely blessed to be able to make money from YouTube because this is so much fun, but I am far from rich. All right. That's where, that's where I draw the line. I'm rich in, in love and personality. Okay. Prismatic shard today. Let's go to skull caverns. Let's do that. I think that is a great plan. I think that we are awesome and i think that we are smart and i think we're gonna die in skull caverns but you know what you never know you never never know and before we deal with all that nonsense we have 
some crops to water. Say what you will about TikTok if you don't like it. TikTok's algorithm is very good. It literally took me like two days of looking through the app for the people at TikTok to be like, all right, so he likes people screaming and falling down. Let's give him a bunch of clips of people screaming and falling down. And now I'm in like internet heaven, just sitting like a lazy piece of shit on my bed watching <laughs> children fall down. I need to find more interesting stuff in my life so I can have more fun little story times. I mean, the bar is low considering I talked for like two full minutes about most stuffed Oreos. I found an old like elementary school uh, worksheet that said like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, comedian. And for the longest time I was like, oh, that's not going to happen because I'm not that funny. But now I've found a platform where you don't have to be that funny to have an audience. And here we are. I will say that being a YouTuber has consistently been my dream job since I literally first got like an iPod touch in like third grade and discovered YouTube. So follow your dreams, kids, unless your dream is illegal or mean or stupid. I should put that on a t-shirt. All right, Skull Cavern time and Galaxy Sword time and magic. There it is. Wow, you have found the Galaxy Sword. Really, really did not expect to pick up a Galaxy Sword this early, but I am not complaining. All right, Skull Cavern. Let's see it. The first floor is a spiral floor. I already hate this. Hole. Yeah, I'll jump in the hole. This isn't as hectic as I expected. I don't spend much time in Skull Caverns in this game. I know that that's like a go-to for a lot of like end game players is to like hit up Skull Caverns constantly. I just go once, get as much Iridium as I can, and then try to like never go back. Cause I just, I don't like it. It stresses me out. See like this. This stresses me out. I can't exactly remember how far down you have to go to start getting Iridium, but it's probably pretty far. I hate these things. Ah, wait, that guy did not touch me. Okay, oh my God, eat the fruit, please. Thank you. I'm almost positive that dude did not lay a dang, I was about to say finger, what is it, like a whisker? Didn't lay a whisker on it? Stop, okay, let's, let's eat a spicy eel. That gives us a speed boost, right? So be quick. Oh my God, we're so fast. Oh my God, a dinosaur. We need to kill that guy. If he drops a dinosaur egg, I'm gonna lose my mind. We already got a prismatic shard. I don't know how much luckier we can get. I think it has a 10% chance. And look, there's some iridium. I dare you to shoot fire at me, dog. I dare you. I straight up dare you. Dinosaur egg. Ah, uh, that's all right. Okay, we need to make sure we kill these guys because apparently they can drop iridium. We need that. Stop. 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 I hate to pat myself on the back, but this is, this is a pretty clean run right now. Oh, treasure. Pomegranate sapling, wow. I like the treasure rooms, unsurprisingly. Oh, oh, dang, thought we could thread it. This is the worst. This is the worst. No, oh my God, okay, okay. Yep, all good. Oh, I just got a little pop up that Sharky's playing. I wonder if he's recording a video. You should go check out his channel and find out he makes great videos. Oh, it's like a little grandpa ghost. Oh, these guys probably take so many hits to kill, even with my fashionable galaxy. Never mind. That actually was really not that bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. All right. <laughs> so, okay. All right. I th in hindsight, maybe the ooh was a little bit premature. I was really sure I was going to get around him. Man, I was just about to talk about how, like, oh, I'm crushing this. Thanks, Harvey. Be a little more careful. What happened? Did I lose anything? Other Harvey tried me 1,000. That's okay. Six items. Um. Oh. I can live with that. I can live with that for sure. Everything I'm cool with losing, the prehistoric tibia, like that was an artifact. So I guess it's kind of a bummer, but honestly, not bad at all. So I'm calling that a success. We get to keep our pomegranate sapling. Hooray. And our five iridium, we can make one iridium bar, which we can use for, I don't, I don't know. Pomegranate bears fruit in the fall. Okay, so we're gonna just miss the boat on this one, but that's okay. Where do we throw it? I guess let's just throw it right here. There we go. So now we have a pomegranate tree in the works. Tomorrow, I think it might be a good idea to run to Clint's and bust open some geodes because we have quite a few now. All right, I think it's uh, sleep time. Level seven combat. We got ring of Yoba. God knows what that is. And level nine mining. Nice. A little bit of cash. Good stuff. Oh, cranberries. And our first fairy rose is done. So you've entered, all right, shut up. All right, we've got some cranberries to pick, it appears. Something else we could try to do is we could try to grab some um, we some preserve jars. That could be a good idea. I really love this bee house idea, but it's we're just not getting enough maple syrup to make it happen. It's, it's taking its time. I wonder if the pumpkins are also done. Oh, that one honey got fairy rose honey from that fairy rose over there. So we have one 
berry rose honey and we can we can sell that we can compare uh prices and see how much of a price difference it is and we have some salmon berry jelly and let's replace that with some cranberries we're gonna sell our cranberries honeys jams and then let's grab we have some wheat and our fairy rose Fairy Rose is gonna go in community center. Wheat is gonna go in community center. Hay is gonna go in the silo. And the one straggler cranberry is gonna go in the bin. Everything has a place. And I'm gonna refill with the fish tank. All right, so plans for the day. We're gonna make a Clint and Gunther run for sure. Uh, check on our animals, check on our tree farm, all the standard stuff. We forgot to check the cart yesterday. Uh, so that's not great, but it's okay because everyone makes mistakes. Hello, which one are you? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. These fairy roses must be getting pretty close, right? I mean, one would think. I mean, the ones down here are probably not. There's Prine and Stuvin and Rochard. Oh, yeah, they're just eating the grass outside. That works out. These trees are still not ready, which I guess isn't the best. But we do have enough syrup for four more bee houses. All right, animals are taken care of. Let's sell some junk. We can make four more bee houses. Let's do that first. Okay, now, let's see. What do we need to... Can we finish any bundles? We can finish the garden bundle. So that one's done. Pumpkins, we have a yam. So pumpkin and corn is all we're waiting on there. We have some corn growing. So then it's just gonna be this. We need to find some green tea or pale ale. We need to get, um, we need to get Caroline to two hearts, I guess, because then she'll give us the tea or whatever. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. We need to check on our, uh, on the status of our pumpkins. This just in, the pumpkins are not ready. Okay. It's been a while since we did like a full regroup with community center. So we've got the pantry under control. We know what we need. Crafts room, we just need to wait until winter. And then, of course, there's the bulletin board, which is always a challenge. We need 10 milk and 100 flour. That one's really tough. I don't know what's up with that one. So what can we do today? Honestly, probably not <laughs> that much. We could work on a barn upgrade. Go ahead and get that out of the way. We do have a lot of wood and stone. I think that's a good call. Let's do that. Oh, glittering bolt. Yeah, I don't care. I never use the panning anyway. All right, Robin. How much? Or we could construct something new. That's an option. Ooh, how about a mill? Nope, definitely not. We need cloth. I've actually never gotten a slime hutch before. Never done it. Oh, we could get a second big coop. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, let's actually, let's do that. Now we definitely need more mayonnaise machines. Okay, so what do we need for mayonnaise machines? We need 15 wood, 15 stone, earth crystal, and copper bar. So we can make about four. That's probably good for now, I think. We'll need more eventually, but for now that's fine. Okay, let's ditch the pan. Never used that. We could just generally use some more stone. That's a problem for another day. I'm really tired. Here we go. Four mayonnaise machines. Love it. I don't know where to put them though. I'll do this. There we go. All right, so we have some more mayonnaise machines. And even though it's only 4, 10 p.m., I'm calling it a night because I'm very tired. Another 28,000 or so from the cranberries. And it's a Sunday. Iridium. Let's go. Oh my God, our fairy roses grew. We get our first fairy rose, honey. But we're gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.